Hi, this video is meant to be used alongside the guide that we released on creating prompts. This video will explain some best practices as well as the very basics on creating prompts. I'm going to try and recreate the prompt write paragraph. You will already have this prompt as one of your defaults, but I'm going to show you how you could make it yourself. I first need to type in the prompt that I want to create. So write paragraph. And then the option to create it comes up. As you can see, the prompt name has already been inputted by what I typed in. I can then give the prompt a bit more of a description if I so choose. And you can then choose the AI model you would like to use. We recommend using DaVinci for almost all the tasks that you would like to use it for. I now need to think what I want the prompt to do. As mentioned, I want to instruct the AI to turn some notes into a paragraph. Now I can edit everything in this input text box apart from the words which appear in angular brackets. So I'll remove this paragraph here and I'll just separate the lines. Now the words which appear before the angular brackets inform the AI what's in the angular brackets. So I just need to tell the AI that what's in the selection here are some notes. So I'll write that in. Here are some notes. I then need to tell the AI what it, I want it to do with those notes. I want it to write a paragraph. And then this replaces the summary. So I can remove this because that would confuse the AI into thinking that what is in these angular brackets is a summary, when actually what I want is a paragraph. So I remove that, and similarly, I will put the selection on its own line, like so. I now want to show you some advanced settings which will improve the way the AI responds. One way of doing this is adding a stop sequence. What a stop sequence does is it tells the AI when to stop and therefore it won't just produce random text. It will stop when the command has been achieved. So the stop sequence I'm going to use or is going to be in indicated by are three quotation marks like so. Then all I need to do is input them here, here, and then after my question here, or my suggestion, or my command. A final thing to note in the advanced settings is the temperature option. So the temperature option, which appears at the very top here, basically refers to the freedom that the AI will have in responding to your command. So the lower it is, down this end of the scale, the less freedom the AI has. So if you're looking for one very specific response, perhaps to a yes or no question, then you would want to set it quite low. Because I want the AI to have a bit more freedom so that essentially each time I perform this prompt, even if it's on the same notes, it will always present an answer which is a little bit different, then I will want to set the temperature a bit higher, perhaps around here. The last thing remaining is to try out the prompt. So let's see how it performs. Let's save it, select some notes, and let's use the prompt, write a paragraph. There we go, a paragraph has been written as we requested Genie to do. These are the basics on creating prompts, but there's a lot more to explore. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.